GeoDirectory is a really cool and powerful directory plugin out of the box, but if you really want to take it up another level, you should install the advanced search add-on. It expands the default search widget by allowing users to search by filter and also including an autocomplete option. In this video, I'll show you how to set up that plugin. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the WordPress dashboard and first thing we're gonna do is turn on the add-on for the advanced search feature. So go ahead and um, mouse over Geo Directory and then go to extensions. And then next to the advanced search add-on, click install. And once that's done, click activate. Okay, so now that that's activated, the first thing we're gonna do is turn on the auto completer. So hover over Geo Directory again and then go to settings, click advanced search, and this stuff is actually already turned on. Um, so you can click the show advanced button for um, more options. Um, this is all really self um, explanatory. Um, you can choose how many characters you needed to trigger autocomplete, how the max results returned by autocomplete. And of course you can turn it on and off here um, as well as enable the location filter. This is also where you can enable the Ajax search filters if you choose by turning that on. And then you have more options for that here. I'm just gonna leave that off for now and then make sure to click save changes when you're done as always. Next, let's go ahead and add some filters to our new advanced search. So first thing you need to do is go to the custom post type you want to add those filters to. Um, you, if you go to the default one is places. Um, but I'm going to use the one that I created, you, which is called RV Parks. So I'm going to hover over that and then go to settings. When you get here, click the search tab. And now from here, you can add any of your fields onto the search bar. So we're definitely going to add on search by distance. So we're going to just click that and then some field settings pop up. Uh, the title, the description, if you want to have it on the main search bar or not, I'm going to choose yes here. And then after you do that, the search bar priority option pops up. And if you hover over here, it says where in the search bar you want it to be placed, recommended 15. So let's just leave it recommended. I'm going to also leave everything else as it is naturally and then just click save. Now I do want it to be noted that if you added custom fields, um, which I did make a video for that and I will link it below, all those custom fields will come up here. Um, so if you wanted to allow it so you know people could search by uh, maybe a contact email, if you go ahead and click that, uh, that would end up in the search form as well. Um, that's not something I want to allow people to search with, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Um, and there you go. Now we've got search by distance added to that um, advanced search. Next, let me show you two ways to get that search bar on your site. First, I'll show you how to add it using the um, default Gutenberg editor. So go ahead and go to whatever page you want to um, add it to and hit edit. And then when you're here, just click the plus icon to add a block and search for GD search. Click that when it comes up and then you'll see the advanced search bar pop up here on the um, like the editor preview and then when you look to the right you'll see block options and from here you can make changes on how you want this to look and behave like you could turn on and show the advanced settings here um, you can choose the default post type you can hide different parts of this if you choose to um, you can show different parts of this and you can decide if you want the customized filters open on default or not you also have some other options with the wrapper styles this is kind of like just a gutenberg option here for gutenberg blocks uh, same for advanced. If you want to put an additional CSS class on it, you can do it here. As always, um, when you're finished, don't forget to click update. And if you click view page, you can see the search bar on this test page. Next, let me show you how to do this in Elementor. So let's go ahead, head back to the dashboard, click pages again, and then I'm just going to pick any of these random Elementor pages, click edit with Elementor. And go ahead and search for the widget by typing in GD and find the one that says search and then drag that onto your page just like any other Elementor widget. And then the settings will come up for that uh, 
that widget and then you can change all these settings the same exact way that you change the Gutenberg block settings. Again, don't forget to click update when you're done. And if we view this page, there it is. So there we go, all done. We went ahead and installed the advanced search add-on. We added some uh, filters, we changed some settings and we put it on our web pages. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. If you are building your own website, make sure to check the description for a freebie website roadmap download so you can make sure that you're doing everything you need to do to get your site live. Thank you so much for watching.